Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Al Bayt Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Brazil, and they take on Belgium. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And the match begins. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Lucas Paqueta starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. It's a short one, and played in. Well, being closely marked, but the header nothing to write home about. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Jan Vertonghen starts with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Yannick Carrasco on the flanks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Can he find the right pass? Vinicius Jr. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Who can he pick out? Well, thumps clear. And he cuts inside. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Axel Witzel. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Now deciding to test the keeper, but no problems really. Trossard. Real chance. A goal to give them a 1 0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage. You've got to save. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And Brazil get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to this setback? A 
A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Kossar. Carrasco. Options in the middle. Still could put it away. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Put in by De Bruyne. And stopped there by Marquinhos. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Number 15, Thomas Munier. Rafinha. A super tackle and they've won possession. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And there it is, the half-time whistle. So, back in business, the ball is rolling again. Brazil's difficulties there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? Tossard. De Bruyne. Very quick thinking there. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it fizzled out. Dendonka. Hang on, Derek, what a chance this is. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Richarlison. And a body in the way. Thirty minutes left for play. Richarlison on to Paqueta. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Carrasco. Tossard. Well, they have it again. He's enjoying space. Tossard. Well, tremendous block. A oh, wonderful bit of skill. 20 minutes to go in this one. Marquinhos. Danilo. Chance to play it in. Vinicius. Gives it a go. Nicely saved. And they're making a change. Who can they pick out? Not the best clearance. 
Vinicius. And Belgium regaining possession. And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and Lukaku does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power, it's a great finish. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Lukaku. Well, possibilities inside the box. Still alive. Well, threat over for now. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And the final whistle. Well, it goes into the history books as a defeat for Brazil. And that's not exactly what they were hoping for, Stuart. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. And so the match is underway.